I'm Bridget Day. I've been with Hill since 2003. I'm from New Jersey and I'm a Drexel grad in civil engineering and I started my career with Caltrans and I worked there until I joined Hill until in 2003. Just last year I was assigned to a disaster recovery project in the U.S. Virgin Islands, which is a territory. We are contracted with the government of the Virgin Islands, and I'm on the highways team. Our subrecipient is the Virgin Islands Department of Public Works, who acts as the DOT for the territories. We represent the DPW in maximizing their funding, disaster recovery funding, and reimbursements that they will receive from multiple funding sources, most of which are federal. We are advocates for the local government. Our highway team is helping the local government to rebuild their destroyed highways and utilities and add resiliency and sustainability within the new roadways and utilities. We all know that the next hurricane season is right around the corner. We don't know how bad it's going to be, so we need to be ready. Right now, we are all working remotely because of COVID-19, as I'm sure all of you are. Also, our client is working staggered shifts, half days, that kind of thing as well. So it's compromised, but we're all making the best of it and doing the best work that we can under the conditions. One thing I hope is that I'll continue to learn life lessons from the Islanders. Some of the best so far that I've learned are um, all are we good. Um, that means we're all okay, we'll be fine, we'll get through this. Um, they're so practical and resilient. They're faced with uh, hurricanes throughout their whole history, so they have to be. Um, another one is to be respectful of everyone by wishing them all a good morning, a good afternoon, or good night. They don't say good evening like we would. They say good night. Um, anyone you pass on the street, any meeting with anyone is started with that greeting. Um, Another thing about the Islanders is any excuse for a festival. They have a lot of extra holidays, plus they celebrate all the normal U.S. mainland holidays, and um, the kids have off school, it seems like every Monday. There's always some sort of street festival. There's always live music, dancing, food booths. It's a great deal of fun. And, um, uh, come on down to the islands if you get the chance, and I would love to show you some of my favorite things.